Well, all the glaciers in the North Cascades are are suffering because of uh, you know climate change, and so you know the summers are warmer, the winters are warmer. Uh, we're getting a little more melt in the winter, a little more rain events in the winter, and all those things uh, just are not the right recipe for glaciers to be healthy. Now, Hinman Glacier was a big glacier, so to lose it uh, just means that it wasn't uh, very resistant to these changes. And so there was no avalanches that feed the Hinman Glacier, no real big wind drift accumulation. And so all I had was direct snowfall. And so that just makes it a little more sensitive to these changes. The other glaciers are feeling the same changes. They just, uh, because of avalanching or you know, other added accumulation blown in, redeposition, they're gonna do better. But what we've seen on Lynch and the Columbia is just the last decade has just seen a, a tremendous thinning of those glaciers, rock outcrops poking out, uh, retreat at the terminus, a new little lake at the bottom of the Columbia, uh, just like we saw at the bottom of the Hinman and develop in the 1990s. You know, the, all four glaciers in this watershed have been diminishing, so it's not the final disappearance doesn't mean a lot, but it's just that gradual decline. And so if you think about more than half of the glacier area is gone, you just have half as big an ice cube melting. And so you're just not going to get nearly as much contribution to the Skykomish River. And so you can see that in August now, uh, when you go during long dry periods, the flow is just less than it used to be. And you, know, you look during the that summer melt season before 1985, there's only three days where it fell below 14 cubic meters per second, kind of that threshold where it's hard for aquatic life. And since then, 341 times, with 70% uh, of those happening since the turn of the century. So we have increasingly low flows. Uh, and then this summer, the US Geologic Survey put in a uh, temperature gauge for the first year at Gold Bar. And it had 14 days during August where the temperature was above 19 C, which is a, kind of a critical threshold for salmon, particularly your fall Chinook runs in the Skykomish. The thing we started to see in 2015 is that just more commonly, the glacier is losing all of their snowpack in the summer. And so now you just have glaciers like in 2021 and again in 2022 for many glaciers. By the end of the summer, they're essentially snow free. And for a glacier, it needs to be 50% snow covered even at the end of summer to be able to be persistent. So if you have no snow cover, that basically means you had no income that year. All you, all you had was expenditures.